What's happening, everyone? Jay Shawclast here, and check it out. We have Kristoff from Frozen here, and finally I have him at level 6 uh, for my friendship level. And we're going to go ahead and chat with him and start his next personal quest. I've heard that he's got some really good ones that we need to do. Uh, thanks to my buddy Fate Walker, who uh, you should definitely check out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Fate Walker. So thanks for all the advice he's been giving me. Let's go ahead and check this out. Hello. Yes, of course. Thanks. Use some advice. I went foraging earlier, and I have these extra materials. Some softwood sand and a good carving stone. What do you think I should do with it all? You'd almost start a stall with all of this. Wait, you should start a stall. I guess I do have experience selling things. Ice. I used to sell ice. But harvesting and selling seems pretty different from taking care of a stall. I'd need some guidance. I could ask Goofy for advice on how to build your own stall. It's always helping out. You, you could come with me. Funny, you mentioned Goofy. The other day we were fishing next to each other. Everything was calm, relaxing. Next thing I know, he sneezes and manages to hit me in the head with his fishing rod and puts me in the mm -hmm. pond. Definitely not who I'd go to for fishing advice, but does pretty good stall. Be happy to ask him for you. Just avoid any potential new head injuries. Bye. All right, so we're going to do Village Project, a mountain man stall. And this is going to give us a stall that you can actually uh, buy stuff from Kristoff and not just Goofy. So what we need to do is we need to find Goofy uh, wherever he may be. Uh, it looks like... Goodness. Oh, he's okay. I, th I think he's up at... Uh, Share me. Also, I have Kristoff with me as a companion, and he does foraging with me. So sometimes he'll do exactly that and throw me stuff. And that's also a very good way to level up your character's uh, friendship level. Uh, because as we go around uh, foraging, which is what I have him assigned to do, uh, you'll notice sometimes he'll get little hearts over his head. Because we're on this quest, he might not be my companion anymore. But in any event, here's Goofy, who would like a green hey salad. There. How can I help? Kristoff would like to open a stall. I'm sure you have some advice. Gosh, Kristoff gonna have his own stall, huh? That's great. Between you and me, he's a real clumsy fisherman. <laughs> but he doesn't want to do that professionally. Hmm. hmm. Pretty sure I've got just what he needs. These are parts from my first stall. We have to repair it. Okay. You'll need rock solid stone for good foundation, some softwood and hardwood for the frame, and an iron ingot so everything can be held together Whoa. by nails. Good luck putting it together. Can I get okay. a little help here? So we talked to Goofy. We've got plenty of softwood, plenty of stone. We need one more hardwood and iron ingots. Okay. So. This is what we're going to do, okay? So in order to really progress this quest, I need to show you where you need to go to get things. All right. So actually, another tip that Fate Walker gave me is you can actually take the wells that you open and move them to the other side of the bridges you can't get across and then just teleport over to them. So thank you again. Look, Fate Walker's a good dude, like I said. Uh, so in this area... We should be able to find all the different types of wood. Uh, so there is the regular light wood. Um, but the one that we're looking for over here is soft wood, uh, which is actually, do you see those hearts from foraging? And then I think he just threw something at us. Yep, there we go, some more cherries. Uh, the wood that we're looking for over here is white. And that's the soft wood, uh, which I already have plenty of. We only need one more hardwood. I've been doing a better job uh, of storing things so that I don't have to go rummaging every single time I uh, I need stuff. So I've, I've oh, there, there we go, right here. So there's some softwood right there, some white softwood. All right, we already had all that. And then the hardwood is a little bit darker. This might actually be hardwood. It is. All right. And then we're going to actually um, 
Go to the map. So this is a good area to get softwood and some hardwood. You can also find hardwood down here in the Glade of Trust. And then more specifically uh, over here in the Forest of Valor. Now I'm actually going to teleport my way over to here. Because this area and... So the Forest of Valor... And I believe over here in the Glade of Trust is where you can get iron ingot or iron anyway. I'm not, I can't remember if you get it up here in the plateau, but you think in the plateau you get gold. But up here, uh, you have the opportunity uh, to get iron. All right. So we're just going to go over here and look for some places where you can uh, harvest. There's some stone, which we already have plenty of. All right, right here. So there you can see we're picking up iron. And I don't think I have enough stored away uh, to get what I need. But we're going to go figure that out in a moment. Uh, the good news is I'm going to actually just mine any area. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to mine any area over here that I can find. Just while we're over here. Moving these wells. Such an amazing idea. I didn't even know that was a possibility. So the downside is over here. We can't get back over. So that we can get to the, the rocks over there. There aren't many rocks that you can harvest. In this section. Uh, but I think I can get over to that one. Just harvesting because... Obvious reasons. All right, so we're gonna do this one right here real quick, and then I'm gonna teleport back over. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna teleport over to the main well because I have a crafting station over there by my house. I did not realize how convenient the fast travel was. I thought you had to go to the well to fast travel to another well, but you don't. You can just pick it on the map. All right, so iron ingot. I already have two, and I need 10. And would you look at that? I have just enough to make it. And if we get out of here, oh, I need two more. All right, so I was right. I, need, I had just exactly enough to make it. So there's perfect. And then function items. Uh, actually, let's get out of here. All right, return to Kristoff. Oh, hey. You ever need to craft my new stall? Because now we just need to construct the stall and place it in the village. I'll let you decide where in the valley it's your valley after hey, all. Hey, thanks. Okay. So let's go craft his stall. Ooh. Wait, what's this? Oh, interesting. It looks like I can craft a newer chest, like a better chest. All right. So there's Kristoff's stall. We have everything that we need to make it. And that is Kristoff's stall right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it side by side. Uh, with one of Goofy's stalls. I'm going to put it right next to Goofy's main stall down here. Maybe not side by side, but we're going to put it like kind of kitty cornered here. All right, so we're going to go here. And you can move all this stuff after the fact. All right, Christoph's stall. All right, I will talk to Kristoff. Hello. I guess I'm a shopkeeper now. Or just a stall keeper, I'll ask Anna. Anyway, come by the stall whenever you need something. I'm gonna sell softwood stones and sand, nice. Wow. I wasn't sure about the first, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be great, thanks. Way to go. All right, so just like that, we almost have him to level seven. 
And if we go over here, you can see that we can buy, oh, buying hardwood. Is that what that is? Oh, oh softwood, okay. Um, all right, well, that's good enough. You know, we've got Christoph Stahl right there. We'll just tap, chat oh, with him hey. real quick. And uh, let's see, what did he want? I already gave him clay. I don't know how to make ice cream or egg. I don't have an eggplant yet, but um, all right. I'm going to oh, let him know that oh. we're going to stop hanging out. And there you go. I really All right, so he's it. almost uh, friendship level seven for me. And now we have his stall. No, come back and talk. Oh, so yeah, we've got Christoph stall. That's how you do it. So just make sure you get him to friendship level six. I have him as my main farager. And it's honestly just as simple as walking around, make sure you have your daily conversation and picking everything you see along the way. And uh, you should be able to uh, get them leveled up pretty quickly. Hopefully this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you.